So since we're all sharing fruits that come from different parts of the world, I wanted to share this story called Bibimbap. This story is written by Linda Sue Park and illustrated by Ho Bake Lee. So this story is about a little girl from Korea and she loves to eat this special dish from Korea called Bibimbap. So we're going to see how the family gets ready to prepare this uh, special meal, okay? I hope you enjoy. So let's see how they make Bibimbap. And this book is written by Linda Sue Park and it's illustrated by Ho Bake Lee. And the author is dedicating this book to Jackson and Margaret. Maybe Jackson and Margaret are her kids. And the author is dedicating it to everyone who loves Korean food. Do you like Korean food? Have you ever had Korean food? Let's see. Almost time for supper. Rushing to the store. Mama buys the groceries. More, Mama, more. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta shop, shop, shop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bibimbap. Well, do you like going to the supermarket with your parents? When I was little, I used to like going all the time. And I used to like to put the fruits on the scale to see how much they weigh. That was fun for me. Home and in the kitchen. Eggs to stir and fry. Mama, catch the spatula. Flip the eggs high. Wow, they have a lot of things on the table. They have a basket with vegetables. I think she's peeling an onion. They have the green onions and she's cooking an egg. And maybe they have some sauce or spices here that they're gonna need. Hurry, mama, hurry. Gotta flip, flip, flop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bibimbap. Rice is on the boil, bubbling in the pot. White and sticky lickety, steaming good and hot. Hurry, flurry rice, gotta pop, pop, pop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bibimbap. Mama's knife is shiny, slicing fast and neat. Garlic and green onions, skinny strips of meat. I think the dog is ready for his share too. <laughs> You know, my dog does that all the time when I'm eating. I always have to tell him, no, 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 go away. Dogs can't eat that. Hurry, mama, hurry. Gotta chop, chop, chop. Hungry, very hungry for some bibimbap. And look at that. I think the dad gave the dog some food. Sometimes you can't help it, right? Let's see. Spinach, sprouts, and carrots. Each goes in a pan. Let me pour the water in. Yes, I know I can. Oh, there she goes. She made a little spill, but that's okay. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Gotta mop, mop, mop. Hungry, in a hurry for some bibimbap. Oh, she's responsible. She's cleaning up her mess. Bowls go on the table, big ones striped in blue. I help set the glasses out, spoons and chopsticks too. Hurry, family, hurry. Gotta hop, hop, hop. Dinner's on the table and it's bibimbap. Dinner is ready. The family is getting ready to gather around the table. 
So now I see mom, mom, dad, the girl, and now I see a baby brother, and I see someone else here. That could be the grandma. Quiet for a moment, Papa says the grace. Everybody says amen, a smile on every face. Rice goes in the middle, egg goes right on top. Mix it, mix like crazy. Time for bibimbap. And that's the end. And guess what? This book also gives us a recipe. A recipe gives us the ingredients you're gonna need, it gives you the instructions and it tells you um, what you need to do. So each step, it tells you what you need to do in order to make that um, the food. So here's a recipe for bibimbap. And it says it's rice topped with vegetables and meat. On the back, there's an author's note and I want to read it to you. Bibimbap is a popular Korean dish. Bop is a Korean word for rice, and bibim means mixed up. So bibimbap means mixed up rice. It's a favorite meal for many Koreans. Each diner, each person that's eating, gets a portion of rice, then tops it with meat. Steamed oyster, fried carrots, green vegetables like spinach, and mung bean sprouts, Eggs that have been made into a flat omelets and then shredded, and kimchi, pickles, cabbage. When all the food is on the plate, you beam, bim, you toss and mix everything together like crazy to make a colorful and delicious meal. And that is bibimbap. I've never tried bibimbap, but after reading this story, it really makes me want to try it because it sounds super delicious. What do you think? Well, friends, if your family has a special recipe or a favorite meal, you can share it with us in Google Classroom. All right, friends? Have a great day. Bye.